aggressive manner. I just think. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. And as you already know from the name of this video, I'm gonna be talking about raising a bilingual child, about pros and cons. And the main reason why I'm making this video is because I always get asked about this on social media when people hear that I talk to my son in English or when they hear that he speaks in English and he's two and a half, and it's very surprising to them. Oh, look. Clouds. Cloud. Oh Clouds, and what's this? Open this. Open this. <gasps> it's clouded here. Oh, it's a hot air balloon. It's clouds here. Look at the clouds here. Mm hmm. It's a rain. Yeah, what's this? It's a plane. It's a plane. And this? It's a copper. Helicopter. Yeah, this? it's easy. Yellow. It is yellow. That's right. And what's this? It's a boat. It's a boat. Good job. Mm-hmm. And this is a boat. This is a boat? Yeah. This boat. Mm-hmm. This boat. Yes, that's right. This boat. And what's this? Do you know what, what that is? What? Hot air balloon. Like hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Wow! Oh, yeah. baby! <gasps> tiger! Tiger! No, baby tiger. Baby tiger. That's right. Hey, Daddy tiger. Daddy tiger. Good job. No, oh. Mommy tiger. Mommy? No, Mommy Tiger? No. <laughs> What's this? It's a duck, Mommy. Yes. Baby duck. Yes, baby duck. Duck leg. No. No. Baby. How do we call these? Ants. Ants. Good. Great. And, and what's this? Mommy. Mommy? Yes. Mommy, it talk. Yes. And what's this? It's bum bum. <laughs> it's a mushroom. Mushroom? Yeah, mushroom. Out of the cannon. Wow, look. <coughs> look at this. Mom, busy. Yes, this is a busy mama. It's, look, I draw a train. <laughs> You're coloring. So first, a little bit about us. We live in Ukraine, born and raised. The decision to not just teach, but to actually communicate and interact with our child in English was mine initially, but my husband totally supported me. Why English? Because I just love this language, specifically American English. Ever since I was a child, I felt very passionate about it. And honestly, whenever I use it, I feel very comfortable. And truth be told, knowing English gives you a lot of opportunities and opens a lot of doors for you. And for the most part, I learned by myself. Oh, and we're not at home, by the way. This is not our fireplace. We're just having a nice getaway weekend in the cabin in the woods. Why did I start this at such a young age of my kid? Honestly, because I felt like it and because I wanted him to benefit. Because English is an international language which is spoken all around the world. And I wanted not just to teach him in this traditional manner, but to create this natural environment for him to absorb this language naturally and get the feel for it. Of course, that I did my research before I started communicating with my son in English because almost everybody told me that if I start teaching my child two languages simultaneously, he's going to start speaking a lot later, he's going to have a speech delay, and he's going to confuse those languages all the time. Fast forward, none of that happened. So I started speaking to him in English when he was seven or eight months old, and ever since, I speak with him exclusively in English. 
Because I thought since we don't live in an English-speaking country, he was inevitably going to pick up Ukrainian. And that's true. Although he speaks mostly in English so far, but he understands Ukrainian perfectly, but speaks a little. Again, so far. We have a rule at our home and we religiously follow it. We watch and listen everything in English. I speak with my son in English and have the time with my husband in English. We created this artificial, natural environment to immerse ourselves in the language. Now let's talk about pros and there's a whole lot of those. First. When I started speaking to my kid in English, I was pretty much his only source of learning this language. And it was super important for me to teach him the correct pronunciation and to use proper English, I mean in terms of grammar. So that skyrocketed my English as well as it was a very powerful incentive for me to study. Then. As the research in this area shows, the brains of children who learn more than one language from a very young age develop better. And by the age of approximately four, they distinguish between languages perfectly. And there are a lot more benefits of being bilingual, not just for children, but for adults as well. Then one more important thing that I knew basically, but came to realize even more, is that even if your child is learning another language from an early age, the traditional courses don't enable them to use that second language freely later on in life. And it's not the children's fault whatsoever because they are more than capable of learning another language and not only one. I think that's because they aren't actually using the language in real life. And that causes their brain to come to a conclusion that they don't really need it. Therefore, their brain thinks that there's no need to focus on it. And on those traditional courses, or in those traditional school classes, they teach a foreign language and their native language. They explain everything in their native language and give just a couple of words in English like translating them. And this way doesn't give your brain an opportunity to wholly concentrate on English and get the feel for it. And I'm not talking about all the courses. There are very good courses. I'm mostly describing a situation here where I live. I can agree that for most adults who start learning English later on in life, this approach may be better, but a child's brain is capable of amazing things. I needed to take a break to put our son to sleep. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, that they learn so quickly. They grasp things so quickly and that's what I see in my son and that's what's been amazing for me this whole time I observe him. Where I try so hard to remember something, he doesn't struggle whatsoever, he just remembers it. And that's why I decided to communicate with my son exclusively in English so that in the society that doesn't speak this language, he got used to hearing it and using it and felt comfortable with it. And as I said, he won't have any problems with Ukrainian because he's just gonna have to communicate with the people around him. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying or think that traditional courses are useless. No, they still help with the development of children's brains and at the very least, they may generate interest in the language and culture for further studying. And we want him to study abroad in the future, so of course he will need English. And this way we're not going to be stressing over the fact that he's going to need to learn it. And not just learn it, but truly understand it and be able to use it. He doesn't have any delay in his speech and he doesn't have any problems with understanding both languages. Also, he's actually being very clever right now because he uses the words from both languages that are easier to pronounce for him. So my mom, of course, speaks Ukrainian with him. And this is one more thing that is amazing to me, that he speaks Ukrainian with her and English with me. Not exclusively, of course. Uh, he puts English words here and there with her and very rarely vice versa with me. But when he does this, it sounds very funny. How I know that he understands Ukrainian? Because he answers to grandma and does what she asks. And I really don't sit and don't teach him anything intentionally. I didn't want to do that in the first place because I didn't want to stress myself out and I didn't want to make him hate this language by making him 
memorize something. I really just talk to him, play with him, explain things to him and answer his questions just like I would in my first language. He watches cartoons in English. I have lots of books in English and bilingual books that he loves, by the way. And I actually use some apps. One that teaches the sounds of American English and words specifically and some apps for toddlers for developing reading and math skills. Regarding cons, some parents even try to convince me not to do this, motivating this by saying that there's no way that I'm going to succeed at this, that he's still not going to be able to actually speak English. Some asked me the weirdest questions like what is my problem with my native language and why do I want him to know it, these sort of things. So the cons that I personally faced off with connect just with some people's attitude towards my philosophy and my choice and that's it. But so many parents and people like what I do and this whole idea and they are absolutely amazed by the fact that he uses the language freely. Well, as freely as it's possible for a child. We're still in the process, but I'm not planning to stop even when he goes to daycare full time or to preschool. I'm still going to be communicating with him in English at home. So two parents that are considering whether to start teaching their kids a second language at a young age like two, but have some doubts, my answer is absolutely yes. I absolutely encourage you, even if it's just a course. I know that I have the privilege to speak with my son and playfully teach him English by myself, but you can buy some flashcards or books in English or bilingual books and you can let your child watch cartoons like exclusively in English if you let your kid watch cartoons at all. And mark my words, you'll be amazed by how easily and fast they can pick up the language. And I did my research and found that there are lots of preschools like in the area where I live where they try to implement this natural approach to teaching languages. So I think that's awesome. And I think that nowadays with all the technology and opportunities, we can find lots of options. So I hope you found my story useful and I managed to clear your doubts. And for the ones who were curious, I answered your questions. And leave your questions guys in the comments and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let's take another book. Okay.